Hello my friends, I'm in the Australian bush today chasing black cockatoos that arrive here for spring. This is a program for higher consciousness. The greater your level of self-awareness, the more ability you have to create the life that you really want. Join me for this brief session that will help transform your energy so that you can begin creating the life that you really want to live. Place one hand on the lower dantian and the other at your heart. We're going to take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathe in as though you're breathing in through your belly and that this breath waves up into your chest and then follows the same path down from the chest deep into the reservoir of the lower dantian. Fill yourself up with the life force around you, feeling the air going in and out as you breathe, remembering that of all the billions of people that have inhabited this planet, there is no one other than you who has been you. Step out to the left so that your feet are shoulder width apart. This helps to create a solid foundation for our practice. Knees are soft, tailbone is anchored, chest relaxed, shoulders at ease, and your head aligned with the heavens. Breathe in as you draw your arms up and gather all of your attention back to you. Wherever your mind is wandering, that's where your attention and your life force goes. For this 15 minutes, just make a concerted effort to bring all of your energy back to you. Come back to a sense of inner awareness and the inner power. See if you can notice within yourself the energy that is you. Can you define that very specific eternal vibration? that part of you that never changes no matter what is going on around you. Gather up, lean into one leg, draw your arm up, and then we're going to lean over to the side. We're breathing in to gather up and out to lean. And then just soften your knees and sweep away old energy. As we breathe in, we expand through the organs and under the ribs, the spleen and the liver. We honor this rhythm of expansion and contraction. When we expand, we inflate. When we contract, we compress. This allows a pump of fresh blood and chi into your organs. The breathing is soft and relaxed. All your joints remain unlocked. We allow all the fluid to flow through the body, keeping us hydrated, lubricated, and equanimous. Reach up to the sky and place your palms facing out. Keep your feet planted into the earth. And we'll breathe in and then soften, reaching up. Again, allowing fresh blood and chi to move through all the organs. This is not only healing, but it also helps to release stagnant energy. It can be trapped for years and then draw the hands down in front of the body and we wash this energy through. And place your hands on your back, chin to chest, and we're going to roll all the way over into a forward fold. 
You can hold your elbows if you only want to come down part way. And just let your head release and become very heavy. Let your shoulders relax and expand. And then soften through the knees and gently unwind, pushing off the base of the feet to unroll back up. Ah, take a breath and just let that energy settle. Gather up again and then soften through the knees and as though your hands are running down two panes of glass. Slide them down in front of you. Keep your head neutral. We want to keep the celestial chimney open this gateway between the head and the heart. We're coming down, pointing the tailbone towards the earth and then breathing in to stretch back up. This form is very beneficial for the kidneys, the home of our essence. It's called the tiger in the grass. Tigers sleep for up to 20 hours a day conserving their energy so that when it's necessary they have full power available to them. They don't waste their precious life force. We breathe out as we go down and in to raise the arms up and then just allow them to float down by your sides. Gather up the center of the lower dantian and then sweep the arms to the side while keeping your hips forward. We breathe in as we throw the arms back almost as though you're casting a net. One hand reaches out far and the other that crosses your chest in front of your armpit. This form is called gazing at the moon. Again, we're opening up through the vital organs. Opening up through the waist, the channels and the arms, helping to soften and hydrate through the neck as we look over her shoulder. back down to center, feel that tingling in your hands, and then we'll step out a little wider. Make sure your feet are solidly placed, and then we'll breathe in and draw the arms up. Keep the shoulders soft, and the fingertips point towards each other as we lean into one leg, sweep across, and come back up to center, sinking the weight, breathing out to sweep, and in to come back up. When we strengthen the legs, we strengthen our ability to stand tall in life, to be rooted in our true nature, to feel steady and strong like the deep roots of a great tree. Allow this energy to settle and just wash it through your body, all the way through your torso, down the legs, into the calves and the feet, and out through the base of your feet, washing away any stagnation, any worries, any concerns, anything that is not serving your higher consciousness. Breathing in, raise the arms up again. Draw the palms together in prayer as we connect the master point for the heart. Sweep out. Hands draw back together in prayer as we breathe in and then expand through the chest. Pull the energy of heaven down, illuminating your deep unconscious, 
and draw this up to heaven for support and nourishment, clearing away all conditioning, any influences that no longer serve you so that you can be free and empowered to create the life that you are genuinely here to live. The breath is soft and natural, just breathing in when we raise up the arms and out as we lower and sweep. You'll notice there's a soft pulse to my legs. Now breathe in, hands back to back, throat open as we release stagnant chi from the kidneys, the large intestine bladder, the spleen, the pancreas, the liver, the gallbladder, lungs and heart. We draw up through center, expand and fan out. Nice and soft. There's no tension. We trust in the wisdom of our body to know what to let go of and to know what to hold on to. Now this time make light fists and then shake your arms out to release. We breathe in and pull up, expand and let go. Making fists helps to release energy from the heart, tension, sorrow, and grief. Just imagine that as you pull this up and out, you're just scattering it into the universe. The universe will always make the best compost from everything that we let go of. It's infinite wisdom, waste nothing. Reaching out and drawing down through center. There's just a slight lean as we gather in, taking in the nourishment and love of the earth. When you consider everything that we've done to this planet and that she still feeds us, loves us, protects us, and provides everything that we could possibly need, we can trust that filling up with her energy will fill us up with goodness, steadiness, kindness, and balance. And we just wash this through our pillar of light and take it in. Now gather up through center and then gently push your hands out almost as though you're rolling a ball through the middle of your belly and turning it over to draw it up again. We breathe out to push out and breathe in to draw up. This is a way of grounding and centering the energy that we've moved around and encouraging it to rest in the lower Dantian. Most of us have our energy high up in the heart area and this is where the saying up tight comes from. We want to draw the energy lower down so that we're anchored and steady and drawing on the wisdom of our essence and allowing our heart to be calm and relaxed. Your heart is the sun of your body radiating warmth, light, love and compassion. This is the governing organ of the body. Rest your hands on your lower dantian and seal this energy in. And then we'll reach up and gather up three more times. 
Just noticing how different you feel at the beginning of a practice and then towards the end. By the time we come to this closing gather, we feel more calm and relaxed. Our nervous system has been nourished. Our essence has been tapped into our heart released of stress. And we can really gather up all the fragments of ourself that become scattered through life and draw them back and seal them in. And then we'll come back to where we started, one hand on the lower dantian and one hand on the heart, tapping into our energy and feeling the joy of being alive and understanding that you are a gift to this world. And the more that you can become aware of who you really are, the more ability you have to tap into your purpose. Thank you always for joining me. Do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what it is you'd like to achieve in your own transformation and self-improvement. And I'll be sure to put a program together for you. And always remember, you are the most valuable asset in your world. All love and wishing you a beautiful day ahead.